We want to recognize them because record keeping is a huge part of being a successful garden, uh, being a successful gardener. So um, we want to award, reward them. And we had two teams, the Tomato Whispers and um, blanking out. Jill Fisher, who is from the Tomato Whispers, Whispers. Are you here still? Jill, come on up and get your prize. Yay. Everybody clap for Jill. Oh, and our, our, our second team that came through with their record keeping to prove that they were dedicated sustainable was Rake and Bake. So, Scott, come on up. Scott Kavner, team leader for Rake and Bake. So, we will have a sign for you guys to put in your plot to show off next season to say that you were de dedicated sustainable in 2010. And uh, they got gift certificates to Horton Seed Company, 50 bucks. All right, now is the moment that we've all been waiting for. Um, we initiated a Biggest Watermelon Contest earlier in the season, and something crazy is, has happened as a result. Every time I walk by um, Plot 50, I hear this sound. It sounds like a beached whale. <laughs> and I look over my shoulder, and what is it? It's a watermelon. Um, these, these, these watermelon over here to the left are the two top contenders for our watermelon contest and we're going to do the final weigh-in and give the prize which is a hundred dollar gift certificate to Horn Seed. Um, Horn Seed is the go-to place because it's right around the corner. Now ironically um, the, these, we have two arch enemies here. Uh, Jason and Dan why don't you come up. They've been in battling all season long with uh, um, you know duking it out over this contest and it, it's not been pretty. Ironically, they're from the same team which is called Give Peas a Chance. <laughs> Come on up guys. So um, Casey is going to facilitate the final weigh-in and then we will win, we will reward the winner. They need help to lift it onto <laughs> the scale. Okay, the first melon. Now, who does the first melon belong to? This is Dan's melon. 59. 59.4. Get that point four in there. <coughs> 62 oh. pounds. And the winner weighing in at 62 pounds would be Jason Zilke. Congratulations, Jason. How did you do it? We have a blue ribbon to pin on Jason's shirt. <laughs> yeah, it's been suggested that we just throw them onto the onto the ground, let them open up, and taste it. Well, that's up to you. <laughs> All right, thanks, you guys. Um, before we end today, we have a special. Um, I want to acknowledge the special guests we have. Teresa mentioned we have two special guests. Um, Rodney Bivens from the Food Bank, the Regional Food Bank of Oklahoma, and Sue Butler from the community, Brittville Community Food Pantry are here. Um, we, have an, uh, we have an abundance around us, you can see. Um, these are two individuals that lead organizations in our community that work to provide food for those who don't have it in abundance and who, ha who are in need. And... Um, we decided that part of our mission with this garden would be to give back to the community because we have so much in the way of resources. So um, we struck up um, a partnership with the Brittville um, Community Food Pantry because they are our neighbor. They're our next door neighbor and they are feeding people in our, in our community right around us. Um, Sue, would you come on up? We've been um, donating our excess produce to um, Sue's organization, the Brittville um, Community Food Pantry. All season, we started in, in, um, the, in the spring, then the hail came and we quit donating because we didn't have anything to donate. Um, but we resumed back in September and we, we started at that point. And we want to present um, Sue with our, our, um, most, our, one of the most prized crops of our season this, at this moment, which happens to be the, the one bumper crop that we had this summer. <laughs> Um, can you guys guess what it would be? <laughs> no. Sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Um, 
the sweet potatoes honestly were were a, a, an afterthought. I didn't plan to give out sweet potatoes to everybody, but I'm so glad I did. <laughs> because our sweet potatoes loved the weather. They loved the, the flood, they loved the heat, and they loved the fall weather. So, um, Sue, we'd like to present to Brittville Food Pantry 175 pounds of sweet potatoes. <laughs> We're grown here in the garden. <laughs> yeah, we, we should have had a largest sweet potato contest, but we had no idea what our soil was capable of. Um, so I'm going to let Sue say a few words. Well, Kat, we just want to thank you. This has been a great experience. Um, right, like she said, right in your own community are the faces of hunger. Brivial Community Food Pantry has been in this area for 20 years, and we're an agency relationship with the regional food bank. It's through the food bank that we teamed up with Chesapeake. And if you look around at the garden and you really think about this, Kat, think about what a health plan. We can give people food, but can we give them nutritional food? Can they buy nutritional food? No. And to me, this is just one of the best things I have ever seen. Kat has faithfully brought produce that we're not sure of, but we look it up on the internet and we put <laughs> recipes out with it. So it's been a phenomenal partnership and we thank you so much. Um, before we break up and we're going to strike up the band again and um, finish eating the food, I, w I just want to say to those of you who might be interested in joining the garden next year um, who haven't been in the garden, um, we're going to open enrollment on November 19th. Um, we have some information here for people who want to take some, and um, we also have some gardeners that are going to come over that way and answer questions if you're interested um, in asking what it was like this season or what it would be like to be a gardener, a member of the Green Thumb Club, which is what we are. Um, I really appreciate you guys coming out. I'm sorry that it was so hot to sit in the sun here. We didn't anticipate having such a nice hot day at the end of October, but that's what we got. So. I appreciate you coming and just enjoy the rest of the evening and the party. Thanks.